Welcome to the first section of the module 1 of the course Azure Data Factory Fitment and Data Pipeline. My name is Shantanu Das and I'm going to be the instructor of this course. Before getting on the hands-on session, we are going to get started with the fundamentals and lay out the foundation of Azure Data Factory is, what Azure Data Factory is, what are the components. Uh, we're going to take some analogy of orchestration uh, because Azure Data Factory is a hardcore uh, orchestration tool which we are going to use so without further ado let's get started this is going to be the introduction to Azure Data Factory uh, wherein we are going to get started with understanding what Azure Data Factory is so it's an orchestration tool uh, those who has a little bit of idea but what is orchestration is all about let's take an analogy of building a house when you want to build a house um, first thing you do is you start off with the architecture of that house you hire an architect who is going to design the architecture of your house where you're going to put out your sofas where you're going to put out your couch what color it's going to be how many floors it's going to be where uh, what's going to be the size of your uh, wardrobe and all those details are laid out by the architecture now the second uh, primary task which comes up with is the specialized labors or the uh, people who takes care of these jobs of uh, of carpenter of uh, plumbers uh, who's going to build your house who's going to make sure all the fitments in your pipeline all these tasks are done by another set of group of people so there are multiple tasks which is happening one is architecture defining the architecture there's electrician plumber all of these are defined as individual tasks and they are governed by uh, obviously they need the raw material also but all of these happens on some sort of platform or land in analogy of building a house and combining all of these tasks together makes the orchestration of tasks which means there are multiple tasks or activities is just happening but you need some people or some type of application or set of users who, who could govern these tasks and that's where the orchestration comes into the picture that we have multiple number of tasks and activities and on top of those activities or tasks there should be somebody or some app who needs to govern those tasks who needs to make sure that the tasks are delivered on time and whatever the expected inputs were given the tasks are built in that way so that's orchestration of the task and that's the base of the azure data factory it's an orchestration uh, tool which helps you to build your data pipeline now let's talk about uh, uh, let's try to understand what data factory kind of visually looks like let's suppose you're performing some sort of data operation on your uh, on your data coming from different sources now first task you perform is we took the analogy of house building home we gonna take the same analogy because in the screenshot you see that the visual representation of one of the example of a task happening inside Azure Data Factory. What happening is you have your one of the task. First task is check the folder if exist or not, and this is one of the task. Now the second one is you wanna make sure that the folder which consists of all the which holds all of your data those data needs to be copied to somewhere now this could be uh, your sql server or could be amazon s3 buckets or somewhere now once that is done you want to make sure that you want to log whether it was a successful action or a failure action in case of failure you want to trigger some sort of other activity if it's successful you want to make sure that it uh, it runs on a loop variable for all the folders so these are tasks and this is orchestrated by azure data factory without writing any custom code we're going to get into details later but that's the first gist or first highlight of 30,000 uh, view feet view which you get for Azure Data Factory is Azure Data Factory is the only tool absolutely you no know, there are a bunch of other tools also available in the market one of one of the famous tool is uh, uh, Apache Airflow which is an open source workflow management platform similar to Azure Data Factory it was started by Airbnb that's why you see the air name uh, suffix first uh, which was uh, launched by Airflow and it was uh, used uh, uh, in fact it is used by LARF companies to programmatically author and schedule the workflow and monitor them via built-in 
Airflow interface. Now the downside of using Airflow is you got to write custom code for using all of these uh, tasks. You see there are four tasks coming right over here and these are these are in the form of DAG. Um, uh, these are acrylic, acrylic graph which you could see and visualize what's happening inside each of these tasks. The, the, the downside which I see for these DAGs are that you would need to write custom code for each of these tasks. However, in compared to Azure Data Factory, you don't need to write any custom code. All of these tasks are by default available on Azure Data Factory under the pipeline section and you could just drag and drop and use the canvas, open canvas to build your Azure Data Factory data pipeline. So that's the compare comparison when you want to compare two tools um, with each other, Azure Data Factory and Airflow. Both of them does the same, pretty much same kind of job. One of them is open source, another the um, Azure Data Factory is a proprietorship tool from Azure uh, um, Microsoft. Moving on to the next section, let's talk about if you're coming from the on-premises background, if you're working on SQL Server integration service, there are a bit of analogies, similar uh, similarity between both of these tools, SSIS and on the left hand side, you've got Azure Data Factory. Um, so on the SSIS, uh, the packages, the, the, the task, uh, the, the ones which is going to perform all of the tasks is going to be called as packages. However, in Azure Data Factory, it is called as pipeline. Um, you've got activities in Azure Data Factory, which consist of copying of your files, which we saw in the previous screenshot, um, and they are called as task in SSIS. You've got linkage service, which is used to link your Azure Data Factory with the source or destination so that they can talk to each other and perform the task. Uh, which is called as Connection Manager in SSIS. Data sets in Azure Data Factory, however, source and destination in uh, SSIS. And we've got source and sync and source and destination in uh, SSIS. These are a few of the uh, jargons or naming convention which we are going to use uh, pretty frequently in our upcoming section. And we're going to make sure that um, you're kind of familiar with all of them so that they don't kind of come uh, as a surprise. So Azure Data Factory is um, not only helpful in transforming the data, it is uh, also a conventional tool for not only your ETL and ELT processes as well. So ETL extract, transform and uh, load, we all are aware of it. Extract is um, you are trans you're extracting your data from different sources, could be your um, IoT devices, could be your automobile devices, could be logs or uh, verbos logs coming from different servers and you want to make sure that you load the data uh, before it you transform it with some sort of tool could be azure a uh, data breaks could be spark could be hadoop map reduce and once you've transformed the data you want to load the data to visualize in so that's convention etl process and azure data factory helps you to achieve that those etl processes also now a newer way of uh, transforming your data is ELT which is extract load and uh, transform because we saw some of the flaws with ETL because when you transform the data it could take days months or weeks and there's there could be some delays when it comes to transforming it now with ELT what happens is you extract the logs or data coming from different uh, devices you load the data to the destination or this destination could be your Azure Synapse, uh, Power BI's, uh, Tableau and then you transform the data real time so that you have minimal lag and your your deployment or delivery of data cycles is pretty fast that's why you use uh, ELT which is uh, e ELT instead of ETL which is extract load and transform so what happens in the ETL is you first extract the data from different sources you transform it and load it into visualization tool with ELT you do a little different um, you first extract it obviously the, the step remains same and then you load the data on to the destination and over there you transform it data to achieve the speed and um, regularity of your data so Azure Data Factory is an Azure's cloud ETL services tool which helps you to uh, achieve your data integration and data uh, 
uh, governance. Uh, it gives you a data integration and transformation layer that works for your digital transformation initiatives. Um, it offers a code-free UI and that's the best part for intuitive authoring and a single plane of glass for monitoring and management. You could, if you're coming from SSI's background, you could just lift and shift your existing SQL Server integration packages on Azure as well and you don't care about, uh, don't bother about all the uh, on-premises hustles of upgrades, patching, scaling, all of these are taken care by Azure Data Factory. So it's an it's an it's a it's a data integration tool. It's a serverless data integration tool, fully integrated with uh, your ELT and ETL processes. A code-free UI to manage your data governance pipeline to data for your data pipeline wherein you've got your multiple task runnings for for data transformation and you want to orchestrate them with a single tool and that is azure data factory so that's azure data factory in a nutshell so let's uh, take a look at few of the uh, top features of azure data factory um, so if your data is increasing because uh, you know that storing data uh, extracting data is has become really easy, become really cheap, uh, and you know that all of the data which exists, only five to seven percent of the all entire data, is actually processed. So the, you need some sort of platform which is uh, scalable enough to handle this increase in data and remember the three V's uh, velocity variety and volume if your data kind of comes into these three V's you want some sort of uh, mature tool which can read the data from different sources transform it um, uh, easily and then process it and visualize it for your business logic purpose you need a single orchestration tool for all your data engineering needs, uh, especially if you're coming from Azure background, your uh, your data, data sets are stored in uh, SQL Server or Event Hub or maybe Azure Blob Storage. Azure Data Factory is a tool which you should consider using it. It integrates with Microsoft Core Services like so Azure Vault for securing your uh, passwords and secrets, uh, Azure Storage, Tables, uh, even if you want a uh, single sign-on authentication, you could use uh, Azure Active Directory as well. Let's look at the few fun facts about uh, Azure Data Factory. It's a cloud-managed uh, data tool, which means uh, which happens with all of the cloud uh, resources. You don't care about the patching, the scalability, um, where you, when then the load increases, you want to make sure that the scale also increases. All of these are handled by Azure Data, data uh, Factory itself. You've got more than 80 con connectors, which means you've gonna got not only can connect Azure services like so Blob Storage, uh, Cognitive Search, Cosmos DB. You could uh, over and beyond Azure. You could use uh, connect to Amazon as well, Google BigQuery as well. Uh, you could use uh, SAP, SAP HANA, SAP Table. So what I'm trying to say is not only it supports Azure's connectors, Azure sources, you could connect to different sources beyond over uh, Azure as well. Got easy transformation because uh, the, the conventional methods like the inner join, uh, dropping a table, rewriting col column names, all of these features are available by default without you have to write a single piece of code and gives you a better visual representation of what's happening inside your data transformation. It's an obviously it's an orchestration tool which provides you code free solution which saves a lot of your time to write the the caned code or the code which you already have been written you just want to reuse it you don't want to reinvent the wheel again and again so that's where azure data factory kind of comes into the picture so these were a few of the cool features of azure data factory um, and um, this was just a foundation uh, to get started with azure data factory wherein we discussed about uh, what orchestration of task means uh, what is edlt and etl process um, 
we discussed about ADF uh, versus SQL Server integration service as well and we then got started with Azure Data Factory. In the next video, we're gonna get started with Azure Data Factory components. We're gonna clear some of the myths. Uh, we're gonna also understand when you should use Azure Data, Data Factory and what's the difference between other plethora of tools also available in the market and when you should actually choose Azure Data Factory. So I hope this was informative for the foundation of the course. We are gonna get started uh, with the components in the next video and then there's a lot of fun um, hands-on session coming up. Stay tuned, I'll see you in a while, thank you.